It's almost game time for the NFL draft. Oh, this is so exciting. Whether you're a football fan or not, a lot of fun and excitement will be filling Detroit when the draft kicks off Thursday. That's right. So to talk about what this means for Detroit, we are joined by the executive vice president of Visit Detroit, Dave Beachnow, and Orlando Bailey, who is with Bridge Detroit and also the host of the Authentically Detroit podcast. Thank you both for joining us. Happy Thanks for having us. Happy yes. draft week. Yes, it is. Yeah. There, there, there's, there's, there's energy in the city and just so much excitement. I mean, people are just hungry for an event like this, and it's just so exciting to see. So yeah. we're thrilled and a lot of work to do, but it's definitely draft week. Yeah. So here's the thing. The NFL draft is putting a huge spotlight on Detroit, a national spotlight and an international spotlight, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So do you think that this will open up people's eyes to what Detroit is truly all about and what we have to offer? There's no question about it, and part of the reason we bring events like this to Detroit is for the exposure that it brings globally mm -hmm. from a broadcast audience. You know, 60 million eyeballs will be on our city over the course of three days, and then those visitors that will be here experiencing the draft in person for the first time, hopefully they'll go back, tell their friends, their neighbors, yeah. and come back for another visit. Yes. So that's critical or, for or us. Stay. Yes. Just move here. Yeah. Move here, right. Yeah. And spend yeah. your money here. And spend your money. <laughs> spend your shmoney, because we need it. <laughs> yes. What do you think, Orlando? I, I'm excited. You know, I, I've always said that Detroit has a stage to the world, and I think this particular stage is coming at the perfect time because it's spring. I don't like taking pictures in Detroit in the wintertime because it's bleak here in the winter. Yeah. It's <laughs> spring. The sun will be out. It's going to be great. And what we're going to do is just submit that, you know, Detroit, we are the culture. Yeah. Yes. We are the culture. And so I'm really excited for and that, to be honest. What are you most excited about the NFL draft individually? Individually, collectively for Detroit. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll start by saying I think the draft is always a great time to watch uh, the the players coming out of college and high school being yeah. drafted. It's a significant time for them and their families. Their lives are being changed in an instant, mm -hmm. and seeing that every year just always makes me so excited. I cry yeah. every yeah. time. It's exciting, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's very you see the families, yeah, the, fa yeah. right. the watch the parties. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I think for me personally, having been involved um, in part to bring the draft to Detroit, seeing it all come together. And if you go down to campus bars, just you see the theater being built out. I'm getting you know chills right now just thinking about it and how there's going to be so much energy in the city and so many people downtown enjoying themselves. That's um, for me, that's what's really going to be special at the end of the day on yeah. Saturday night when that last pick is called. Mm -hmm. It's touching, and I can see you getting emotional over it because it is a big deal to have this happening right in downtown Detroit. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, no question about it when you talk about economic impact and what it means, but community impact as well and the opportunity for a free event open to the public. And, you know, it's a, it is, by the way, a three-day event, so Thursday night's, you know, round one, and that's going to be crazy downtown. But we certainly encourage people to come down Friday and Saturday, especially on Saturday. Bring the family, yeah. bring the neighbors, and really enjoy the whole experience. Yeah, yeah tell Detroiters be. to suspend their expectation of like parking five seconds away. Yeah, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Thank you for that yes. PSA. It's, yeah. it's, it's no <laughs> before you go. No yes. before you go. The, yeah. You might walk ten yeah. It's going to be crowded. Yeah. yeah, let it go. I'm going to plug let the it NFL go. One Pass. The NFL One Pass is the resource for everything related to the draft. That's yeah. Right. Good so advice. here's a question because I'm someone who really got into football with the Lions having such an incredible season. I was always a Lions fan. This, let me make that clear right now. But I got into it. They're I was like, is that play legal? How come they were able to do that? Like, I got into it. Um, yeah. Because of the Lions' amazing season and because the draft is here, has that changed your feelings towards the Lions at all? They're guys. They're I, gonna I, be like, what are you talking about? I grew grew up a yeah. Lions fan, so I, you know, a lifelong Lions fan, and to see what they've been able to accomplish this season, I think only heightens um, the interest and expectation of what this week means for for our city. And so, um, but no, I'm, I'm a sports fan yeah, at yeah, heart with my it. job, and so I, I love it. Let me ask they're Lauren. They're thick and thin. They're, yeah. they're, thick, as an, uh, they're having get, a moment. Yes, okay, the Lions were you into it more. Uh, yes, just me, right? Okay. Yeah. I enjoy. I love a watching moment. football, but the Lions and Detroit and together are having yeah. a moment, and yeah, it's yeah. really cool to watch all of it. So yeah. I understand yeah. what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I, got, I was like, <laughs> they're being dudes. I, I thought it was like an NFL <laughs> coach. All of a sudden, why did he tell him to do that? You guys should see me. No, nothing. All I knew was touchdown and 50-yard line. 
yeah. Now so she's let's, in let's, it. I'm telling you. <laughs> so now finally, let's get to our final question. There are some special pop-up shops, an arcade, a roller rink, and all kinds of other cool things that are going to be happening in downtown Detroit for the draft. However, after the draft, some of this stuff is going to leave. Um, do you wish that some of these additions would stay to keep up the momentum going? Yeah, there's no question about it. Certainly anytime you bring a big event like this, some of it's temporary, some of it has an opportunity to be permanent. Mm -hmm. But again, I, I just want to point back to the weekend. Let's just enjoy and embrace this moment. This is the biggest event that our community has seen in decades. And so um, let's just have a great time and have everybody come downtown and enjoy it. And you've been working love, hard on this, yeah, haven't working, you? Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> You're proud. <laughs> I love yeah. the new nice things that are going to welcome the visitors, right? I want the nice things to stick around for the Detroiters, too. Yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much for being here. We no, appreciate thanks it. for having us. thank you for us. all your hard work on this. I appreciate uh, your passion. Yeah, and there's so many people behind the scenes that have made this happen, and that's mm. the the key is there's so much collaboration in our community now. It's, it's really great to see and uh, really proud of what we've accomplished. Well, I hope you celebrate yeah. this weekend. Like, we, yeah. yes. your job is done, yeah. right? Yes. Well, that part of you it. Did. <laughs> <laughs> that part. But I will <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> All right. Well, be sure to tune in to Local 4 Wednesday night for our all-in draft special. It starts at 8 p.m.